Today we're gonna to be focused on the top five interior designers I cannot stop um, referencing. And um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about why their work is so special and so genius. And I just go goo goo gaga for all of their work. And um, some of them you'll know the names and others I think are gonna be pleasant surprises. So um, hang in and hopefully you're gonna find your favorite new designer today. Um, so for starters, I wanna give a huge shout out to Pierre Yovanovitch. And Pierre's work is fantastic. He has um, this gem-shaped chair he's designed. Um, and I just, you know, crave to be in the presence of this chair. He has a different colors. I'm a huge fan of the bright pink upholstery um, of this um, gem-like chair. You feel like you're sitting on a big pink diamond. Um, and I just love how all of his spaces have such an understanding of light. Um, so he really does um, understand how to have pops of color, but also calming spaces where you want to spend all day long. I take a look at his spaces and I think that's a place you want to sit down and read and um, yeah, just enjoy, enjoy a great meal. Um, most of his spaces that he designs are in France and um, I just love following along. What I will say about most of these designers today is like take a look at their websites. A lot of times their um, websites are actually more updated than their Instagrams. Um, so yeah, you're one of the classics, Pierre. Um, it's great to uh, be connected to you through the interwebs these days. And then secondly, Demure Studio. Again, probably butchering the name, an amazing Italian firm um, who works um, through, you know, through different places in Europe. And um, I believe has also done a New York apartment and Demure, oh my gosh. Like these moody spaces, you just wanna like have an amazing dinner party in and you can just see like lounging back with a cocktail, like an old fashioned, a Negroni if you will. And um, you know, just enjoying the these um, purpley, navy, um, they just mix all of the most beautiful colors together. These spaces that you want to turn turn to and you just want to walk through them almost like, like a museum. Um, so again, you know, I fee it's a feast for the eyes to see their spaces. And one thing about Demora Studio I am blown away by compared to most American designers is they are not afraid of color. Um, so again, you will see many, many, many different colors and textures being used in their spaces to create this moody look and feel um, that, you know, anyone would want to be in. Um, again, you know, look at, take a look at their website, amazing designers. And then um, finally, I want to reference a firm out of California, I believe, who has done Dakota Johnson's foam. Um, foam. <laughs> done, her, done her foam too, but done her home. And their name is Pierce and Ward. Um, so Pierce and Ward um, are, are two women located in LA who are, again, genius. They understand pattern, they understand color, they understand how to use salvage materials, and you will never, um, ever see anything like the two mohair couches they did for Dakota Johnson that give this like timeless mid-century vibe that you can only find somewhere like LA. Um, so yeah, I would say of all of these designers, I would want to work with them most because I feel like they are so timely. Like we are ready for someone who truly understands um, what the future looks like and Pearson Ward does. They really know how to work with salvage materials and make it look new and give a nod to the past. So um, Pearson Ward, huge fan. And then finally, um, last but not least, we cannot uh, deny that Kelly Wurstler is still the queen, okay? So she does a monochromatic room like no other. And um, she also has a fantastic masterclass. So if you are interested in design at all, Kelly just seems like the most wonderful human. She's also a Southern gal who's come a long way. So shout out Kelly, you've got it going on. 
And I just love her fearlessness, whether it's her personal style, her spaces. She's so unafraid to be herself, and she's the person on this list that I aspire to most. Um, she really does walk in this fully embodied way, and I'm just getting so deep about it because, um, yeah, I can just tell that um, Kelly has really done the work and brings that into her the spaces with her clients so um yeah kelly thank you for everything that you stand for and keep be keep being you uh i don't need to tell you that <laughs> i think you're getting a theme here between all of the designers i've listed today is not being afraid of color and if um we were to work together um that's something that i want to bring into um you know our our working relationship is that you know, I have um, a very neutral space myself. You'll see it on my Instagram. I love um, whites and brights and calming places because I have an extremely active brain. Um, but as far as what makes a space pop, a color story um, that is super thoughtful and tailored to you will definitely make all the difference. So um, with all of that being said, I hope one of these designers really speaks to you and is your new favorite. And there's so many others. We could do a part two. We could do a part three. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time. Um, please check me out at Instagram at Rachel Petrie Interiors or at rachelpetrieinteriors.com. And um, yeah, drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you. So thanks for tuning in. Bye.